Hey, I'm Steve of Stephen Kate, and we believe that kids are capable of anything. We think you can do things even adults can't do. And to prove it, we've searched the planet for kids that are doing amazing, incredible, phenomenal, outrageous, creative, courageous things. And we've done this to share the stories with you. Bella is a young girl living with Morkia syndrome, which makes walking and moving around very difficult. But with the help of her best friend, a great Dane named George, Bella's strong spirit shines as she is able to walk, run, swim, and so much more. Here is their story. My name is Bella and I'm 11 years old. This is George, he is two and a half years old and he is a great Dane. He's my best friend. George is different from other dogs because he helps me walk and other dogs can't do that. Everybody has a recycling bin in your body as like cans and stuff come down. There's an enzyme that breaks it all down and I don't have that enzyme, so it overflows. Some of the challenges are not being able to get around as easily as other kids my age are. It makes me proud being able to do more with George and not being on crutches. The doctor said I wouldn't be able to walk at this age and they said I would just be in a wheelchair, but, but I'm here and I'm walking and I'm swimming and I'm running and playing and everybody that I know, they know my limits and they know what I can do and what I can't, so they make sure that I can do everything that they do. When I hang out with my friends, I don't, we just kind of do whatever, whatever we feel like. Well, I definitely like sport gun fights. It's okay for George to make mistakes because he's still only kind of a puppy because he's only two and a half years old. He likes to play with dogs and some other dogs like George also love to sleep. Sometimes George can't keep up with me because he's too tired. When I'm out with George, people often ask if they can pet him. And I tell them, no, sorry, he's a working dog. The Service Dog Project is a free organization where they donate Great Dane service dogs to people who have trouble walking. That's where George came from and I, and I permanently got him when he was 15 months old. I was super excited because I know this would change my life. At Service Dog Project, they use Great Danes because they're big and they're sturdy. Great Danes to me are really loyal. Once they hooked on you, they're never going to leave your side. When I visit the Service Dog Project, and now I can help out without needing to worry about, oh, maybe this dog won't work with me, or maybe this dog will, because I have my dog. George. Stay. Oh no, I'm just taking off his harness, and then we can... When I first came here, uh, George used to put his paw up on me if I used to try to leave and lay his head on me and stuff. He used to put his nose on my nose. That means they're giving you a hug. Some of the other dogs didn't really like me in the kennels, but George did. I think George knew I was the right human because when he, cause he didn't let me leave or anything. And, and then they're like, okay, you can take him home. And then that's pretty much how it started. Come here, come here. Hi, hi. Oh, Everybody's always supportive about me because they know my disease and all that. What makes me feel not okay is when they pet without asking or takes pictures without asking and I have to explain why and all that. Um, one kid, it was at school, and she's like, you're short and you run too slow. I'm like, oh, well, everybody's different, nobody's the same. So, Well, there was a worry because the doctor said, once she's around this age, she'll never be able to walk again. 
And then I just started to get on crutches and a wheelchair, and I'm like, oh no, is, am I never going to stand again? I'm never going to be able to walk. But then I got George. Now I'm walking. So. Today I'm at Student Cape Camp, and I'm excited to go on the water slide. There's just so much to do, and you can just sit and chill out if you want. You don't have to do what everybody else is doing. I like how you can choose what you want to do because since I get tired easily, I can go and say do like dancing and then go to the lounge and chill out for a little while and then go back to do something else. All kids should have that choice. I think it's important for everyone around the world for they, them to be able to choose so then they can't so then they won't go past their limits. I trust George. He gave me so much so I trust him because I know he's gonna do the right thing. He wouldn't let anything bad happen to me. I think George trusts me. Because no matter what, if I tell him it's okay, it's okay, he just calms right down. If George could speak, I think it would be a really low voice and it would muffle because of the jowls. Thank you. I think the first thing you would say to me was thank you. myself how to swim and I've taught myself how to ride my bike. I'm the only person with Morpheo that can ride a bike. I know that a lot of people don't know about it so now people can know about it so there's a good side to it. Get Morpheo out there so people know what it's about. Campers at Stephen Kate, my piece of advice is to, to always have fun and be who you are. <laughs>